Should Gears of War go cross-platform and appear on the PlayStation? Hello, Gears and Gaming fans. Welcome to another Gears Intel community response video. I'm here for another freestyle video. So that's what these are. I don't script these. I just pull up the thing on Twitter and go through and talk about your responses and talk about the the topic. So that's what I'm going to do. So the topic of today is a poll that I did a little while back. As you can see, the question was, do you think Gears of War should go multi-platform and be available on PlayStation? Feel free to expand on your answer in the, in the replies. Final results showed 68.5% for no and 31.5% for yes. So exclusivity, just a quick kind of overview on my thoughts. I get it. I get it from a business perspective. Exclusivity has been in the news a lot recently with gaming and particularly with Xbox because obviously with the trial that's going on and the, the uh, ABK Activision, which as I'm recording this, we're kind of waiting for a result, uh, a verdict on that FTC uh, injunction that they're trying to do. Um, yeah, so by the time I get this out, that might have happened and we might know what's going on there. But either way, the topic of exclusivity has come up a lot because, you know, PlayStation, Sony, Jim Ryan were worried about Call of Duty being taken away from their platform, which Xbox said it wouldn't. And then, yeah, basically, you all know if you've been following and it's thrown up this conversation about exclusivity. And um, the was it the head of Microsoft came out and said that he doesn't like exclusivity and I kind of agree with him. Um, I think the days... We live in a world now where you can play games in so many different places, in so many, so many different ways. You don't necessarily need a box to play these games when you think about something like cloud streaming. So exclusivity is a weird one because from a business perspective it's sort of good and bad because it's good in the way that it sways people to your console, your platform, because the only way to play that thing or watch that thing, if you're talking about movies, because, you know, the streaming services do it as well. The only way to experience that piece of media is to then subscribe to or invest in that platform, which makes sense from a business perspective. But then at the same time, by doing that, you're also potentially cutting out a lot of people and now we're in a like I say we're in a world where there's so many different platforms particularly with the streaming stuff where there's I don't know how many platforms 15 20 feels like every studio's got one these days so if you make something exclusive whether that's a game or a movie or a tv show you're potentially cutting out a part of the audience who may have bought into that product that movie that game um and then with gaming, it's weird because we have Game Pass, which Xbox have, the subscription service. Sony have a subscription service now, which isn't quite the same. Um, there's subscription services for PC as well. And then you have cloud and it's just, yeah, there's stuff all over the place. So are Xbox losing out by not make by making something exclusive because people potentially would buy a game on PlayStation unless they subscribe to Game Pass. It, it's just a whole thing. It's just a whole, whole thing. And I think about it a lot. And so that's why I put this poll question out because I wanted to see what the Gears Intel community thought about it. And to be honest, the results didn't surprise me. I kind of thought it would come out this way. But my opinion on it isn't so kind of clean, cut and dry. I'm undecided, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say, because I get it from a business perspective. Making something exclusive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, when something's exclusive, it kind of feels a bit more special. I think when something comes out on lots of different platforms, if it's unless it's marketed in a really incredible way and it's something so huge that everyone's into it, but for the kind of more unknown stuff, I think if it comes out on every platform, it feels less special, but then you think of a game like stray or scorn these are two games that were had a year-long exclusivity on uh, playstation and xbox and they both felt like special games even though they're both kind of not incredible games um and now they're coming out on the opposing platform uh quite soon i think scorn's out really soon and stray's coming out to xbox as well so yeah exclusivity can make something feel special and give it a kind of you know that kind of uh 
kind of like FOMO, but just, yeah, it, it just makes it feel more special. Anyway, so yeah, it's a really complex issue. And I, I think exclusivity is kind of going in an, maybe away in lots of ways. It's still around. Sony, obviously, uh, very into exclusivity and uh, they pay a lot of money to make sure that stuff happens. Xbox do it as well. But when it comes to our beloved Gears of War, what do we think? And I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through some of your replies here and just give my thoughts as we go. Should it go multi-platform and be available on PlayStation? Let's start with Kuba. Kuba in... Uh, <laughs> and he's made his uh, feelings very clear over my dead body, <laughs> which made me laugh. Fine, fine. Um, I'm going to expand more on what I think in a bit. Here we have King Abs, the one and only. PC and then big screen through Netflix are markets where I'd see Gears of War tapping into uh, for increasing revenue and popularity. Don't see much logic for Xbox to put one of their flagships on PS. Abs, my phone just went off, so I'm just going to silence that. Okay, Abs has made a great point. So if you want to, like the idea of making something non-exclusive and cross-platform for me is bring in more players, right? Bring in new fans, people who have never had an X Xbox and may have never played a single second of Gears of War. You put it on PlayStation, there we go. There's a whole new audience there. So as Ab says here, put it on PC. Yep, that's going to help. And then the adaptations through Netflix are going to potentially bring in a new audience as well. Completely agree. However, that doesn't always work how you want it to. So I pointed out in my reply, I'm not sure the Halo TV show helped Halo Infinite much, which again, I think we've talked about that on the main podcast, like Halo, this huge, huge flagship franchise, there was no buzz about the TV show. It had a very small viewing audience. I've heard it was, I haven't watched it all myself. I've heard it was fine and kind of sort of well made. There wasn't a great response to how they treated the character, but, you know, we'll save that conversation for another day. Um, and then something something else that I'm a big fan of is Resident Evil. Now, the Resident Evil movies are obviously very successful, generally critically panned and not enjoyed by the fan, Resident Evil fan community. Some people really enjoy them, which is fine. Uh, they made loads of money at the box office, which is why there's like seven of them. And then there's also um, Resident Evil CG movies. There's a Resident Evil live action TV series. Um, there is Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. There's apparently another movie in the works now. I don't know, as a hardcore Resident Evil fan, how much those multiple screen adaptations have done for the franchise. I can't. I mean, I could be completely wrong. There might be people out there who watched one of those movies, watched one of those CG things, and thought, "Oh my god, this is so good! I'm now going to go play the going to play the video game." I'm sure those people exist. Is it a large number of people? Mm, I don't think so. I've not seen anything throughout my, you know, 25 plus years of being a Resident Evil fan, and the movies have been coming out for for 20 years now. Um, I've not seen anything to kind of convince me that that's the point. Um, well, to convince me that that's a thing that's happened, that the movies and the, the CG movies and the TV shows have converted people to playing the game. So you, they've not necessarily netted new players by doing those screen adaptations. Does that mean Gears of War, the Netflix movie and the series, is going to suffer the same fate? Nope. It could be incredible, it could be awesome, and it could definitely, because of the accessibility of Gears of War, which is on Game Pass, it could maybe convince some people to jump in and try the games. So... Yeah, it's a very, very good point. I'm not sure it's a dead sir, and I'm not sure it's a, it's an argument um, I'd make for keeping the game exclusive. But we'll see. Gaming Squirrel says, not really, it's an Xbox game. Same as PlayStation-owned games, uh, they're PlayStations. Each console has to have their own games. I've said here, they do not actually have to do anything. Gaming Squirrel says, no, they don't have to, but there wouldn't be a point in having a certain console if they wanted to play Gears. If I wanted to play Gears, I'd buy an Xbox. I like that certain games are on a certain console. Uh, sure, there's lots of reasons to have a console, but you can get a Game Pass on a TV or a web browser and it doesn't need a console. So I kind of touched that on touched in that on the intro, I think, with my mention of cloud gaming. Um, if you want to play Gears of War right now, you don't need to buy an Xbox. You can open your laptop, you can 
open your mobile phone. You can fire up the Game Pass app on some, is it LG? Some LG TVs? I think it's LG, right? I have an LG TV, but, I, or is it Samsung? It's probably, Sam, no, Samsung TVs. And you can play Gears of War th through the cloud. Obviously, it's exclusive to the Xbox Game Pass service. So it's still exclusive there, but it's not exclusive to the console. So you haven't got to buy the console to play the game. Yet yeah, it's through cloud. And, you know, that's a conversation we can have another day about the, the pros and cons of cloud. But the fact is, Xbox are doing a thing where they want their games to be in as many places as possible. There's been rumours for ages that Xbox are trying to get their Game Pass app on the Switch and on the PlayStation. I don't know if some of those leaked documents that came out um, showed conversations about deals with Xbox being offered to PlayStation, but I feel like for years that's been a thing that's bubbling in the background. And, it, you know, if Xbox were able to put Game Pass on a Switch and on... Um, playstation platforms so you could fire up the app and play the games either natively uh, probably not on the switch but certainly on the ps5 you could um well no it would need some tweaking because you would need a ps5 version but definitely through the cloud um then that brings in loads of other players and that's not on an xbox it's it's on an xbox service which is good for them and that's what they want they want the games that are exclusive to their service but we're now at a point where cloud isn't necessarily catching on the way that maybe everybody thought it would or they would hope. I really like cloud. I use it a lot. I use xCloud loads. Um, is it the future of how we play games? Mm, no, it's more of an add-on, I think, to the way we play games. We've seen the release of the Steam Deck, Asus ROG Ally. These are games that are natively able to play current-gen uh, video games, Xbox or PC. I'm going to stop and take a sip of coffee. Any coffee fans out there in the Gears Intel community? Let me know how you like your coffee. I'm a milky guy with no sugar. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the topic. Um, so yeah, so cloud is maybe kind of not taking off uh, as people thought it would. I was hearing rumours that Xbox are reducing the size of the team and people are being moved to other things so is game pass going to be everywhere as we thought it was through cloud subscriptions maybe not maybe not but yes the point being you don't need to buy an xbox to play gears of war right now that's that's you know that's a fact so it's still exclusive to xbox but you don't need the xbox to play it you could say it's exclusive to TVs, PCs, laptops, smartphones, and Xboxes, but not exclusive to PlayStation. Uh, just not on PlayStation and Switch. I think if Xbox had their way, Game Pass would be on those other platforms. Shifter98 just chimed in with playing the same on console because you can't play off local hardware and be worried without the internet connection. Yeah, that's the whole cloud conversation, the pros and cons thing. Ribbon Girl says, do you think Uncharted should go multi-platform and be available on Xbox? Yes, I do. I don't have a PS5. I've never owned a PS4. I have a PS3, have a PS2, have a PSP. I was a, you know, I got a PS1 back in the day. I've been a PlayStation player for years. I never picked up a PS4 or a PS5. I can't afford it. I can't afford to have two consoles. They're my, I invest in one and I keep it. I would love to have two. I could probably stretch and buy one. Um, the, issue, the reason I haven't bought a PS5 is uh, because it, in terms of value for money, I don't think it's great value for money. Um, with the full price games and the no subscription, not a decent subscription service and all that. So, But yeah, do I think it should go multi-platform? Absolutely. Bring more fans to Uncharted. The same way I'm kind of implying that you could with Gears of War. Bearded Axe Cosplay, well, only if Sony brings us Final Fantasy 16 to Xbox, can we just make Gear 6 already? Yeah, so I'm sure, again, gaming news followers will have seen Final Fantasy games are basically, they're not Sony exclusives, but Sony pays a lot of money to keep them exclusive. And in theory, they're supposed to be timed exclusives. That time seems to be never ending. Is it Final Fantasy 7 Remake is not necessarily an exclusive to PlayStation, but there's no sign of it being on Xbox anytime soon. 
And then Final Fantasy 16, the recent one, yeah. No sign of that being on Xbox at the moment either. Bangry Orr says, why not? I mean, PlayStation to hold their stuff, Xbox has the best stuff. I mean, yeah, it's horses for courses and all that. I think PlayStation has some amazing games that I would love to play. Do I want to play them on a PlayStation? Not really. I'd just rather play play them on my Xbox, all in one place. If Phil Spencer talked about that losing the Xbox One generation was a bad thing because everyone started building their digital libraries, so which carry have carried over to the next console. And it's a great point, you know, there's why would you want to switch now if you're going to make a switch and you don't have both consoles? If you just stick with one, you're going to stick with a place that maybe has the bulk of your gaming library. Danger Cutie, as long as text chat is not in the game, <laughs> I w wouldn't mind. It'd be interesting to see how PlayStation players can handle an OG exclusive. Yeah, um, text chat, being in the games, toxicity, all that, I get it. Red Yota, not really, but shrug. Abrupt. It would fail over there and just take money from the franchise if they tried. I chose Xbox as my console of choice because of the Gears titles. I think there is a deep connection with those who are in love with Gears. 100%. Gears of War is it's synonymous with the Xbox brand. Um, you know, most Xbox uh, fans, people have been playing Xbox for years. Most of them have played Gears, at least ones that I know personally. Um they rate it highly and it's like saying i guess it's kind of like saying final fantasy is synony synonymous with playstation because it is um even games like metal gear solid and resident evil which have been cross-platform in recent years they are absolutely synonymous with playstation so yeah i completely agree but does that mean the games shouldn't or couldn't find a home and find a player base on the opposing platforms I don't think so. I think they could open it up. Let's see. Obviously, you've got to put development time into a different version. Sure. But would you make it back? Put Gear 6 on Game Pass and PS5. But on Game Pass, you get it if you subscribe. On PS5, you've got to pay 60 quid to play it. That's how they make their money. Yeah, it's interesting to think about because everything's kind of changing at the moment. People are feeling their way around the industry and how to work out their business models what can you charge money for what can't you what do people want to spend money for the expectations are through the roof production budgets are through the roof yeah it's interesting to think about pie for prez only if we get god of war that way every platform has both gow's yes please i'd love to play god of war i've played the old old god of wars i haven't played the you know the ps4 god of war and then the recent uh what was it god of war ragnarok they look like awesome games i would love to play them let me play them on the xbox sony send it over here xbox send gears over there obviously like i'm kind of just talking off the cuff here and i know there are a million different business decisions strategy just decisions so much that goes into putting a game on another platform it's not just like snap your fingers and it's done i get it i'm not stupid um i just think exclusivity yeah i don't know does it do more harm than good? I don't know. Sony have a really strong brand name. Now, if you can hear like some kind of, I was going to say roadworks. It's not roadworks. My neighbor is having their gut, having work done in their garden and a giant machine has just been turned on. You might be able to hear that. Hopefully you can. Yeah. So Sony has obviously built up a strong brand, games that run well and all this kind of stuff. They've done well, but does that mean that Xbox players won't play those games if they come to the xbox platform i don't think so i think there's lots of people who would love to play them okay i just stopped the recording and started again because i wanted to check to see if that noise was coming through i don't think you can hear it it's really loud i can hear it out the window here but i don't think you guys can um prama john yes please bottom line is the player base needs all the bodies it can get there we go i think you know how many people have ps5s was it now 25 million something like that maybe more that's a potential audience of, obviously not every single one of those players are gonna be interested in Gears of War. If even 10% of them are interested, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. Super Pab, yes, it helps the player base. It's been not been getting any bigger unless Gear 6 is unbelievable, then it's treading downwards. Mikey Love, first and foremost, I just want a great Gears game. The more people who can enjoy it, the better and help sustain the franchise. Uh, these See, these are replies. These are kind of what I think help build the player base. I, I love, as I said, the kind of the special feeling that Gears is exclusive to Xbox. I love that. That's great. It's like, yes, 
it's my gears it's our gears but i only think that for like three seconds and then i'm like yeah yeah but it'd be fine if it would probably be better if everyone could play it what are the most successful games in the world today just off the top of my head call of duty um fortnite minecraft um what what am i missing grand theft auto 5 what else reel them off are any of them exclusive don't think so yes games like god of war um did it win game of the year last year i think it did great it wins game of the year however many players has it made more money does it have a bigger player base than warzone than fortnite than gta 5 than uh, what's the other one i said minecraft i don't have the numbers in front of me but i'm gonna assume no <laughs> so great games great exclusives from sony on it on the xbox side halo <sighs> i've said many times love halo Inf love the gameplay of halo infinite i think it's languishing at the moment halo xbox's flagship halo the game that basically changed the gaming industry for consoles it changed shooters on consoles languishing with player numbers i'm not even going to bring up the steam charts because yeah it's just depressing to look at so yeah um what do we have coming up starfield is coming out for xbox they've said exclusive and i think they've you know starfield is a single player game that rpg audience that bethesda audience but it feels like the bethesda games have always been stronger on xbox i don't know if i'm talking out of turn there but i know like skyrim barely even ran on ps3 right it had loads of issues oblivion was very much intrinsically tied i think xbox had the marketing for oblivion as well yeah those games are so it, it doesn't feel weird that starfield is exclusive is it going to hurt the player base yeah not as many people are going to play it xbox are obviously focused on the pc market as well which i think is booming again more people are turning to pc so maybe i'm wrong but it just feels like maybe buying bethesda was a good idea and having it as an exclusive day one on game pass release it on playstation a couple of weeks later is that such a bad thing yeah it's it's you know cheeky business tactics but this is <laughs> this is what happens this is not going to change i don't think so yeah i wouldn't be against that i would not be against starfield being multi-platform they talked in the court case about how because they were asked why are you making it exclusive and um it was either phil spencer or somebody else said well you know it helps refine development gets makes for a better game because you, you haven't got to worry about so many platforms to put the game on that all makes sense um microsoft have got the money to develop a game for multiple platforms i think i don't think that's going to be a problem for them um but yes i get the allure side making exclusive only on xbox that's good i'm kind of i'm kind of fine with both i just when people say no it has it has to stay exclusive or don't put this on playstation i don't really see a sound logic for that argument other than Oh, it's nice when things are exclusive um especially as i say these days when everything comes out on pc anyway you can play games on your telly it's just yeah through cloud penetration <laughs> would be weird to see it on playstation especially because it's xbox exclusive since 2006 i don't think playstation would ever let us have god of war on xbox it's one of their staple franchises no i don't think jim ryan and playstation have any intention of getting those games on xbox what's funny is they do put them on pc you know usually a couple of years later usually not running as well so if you want to jump into those franchises and those games and play them at their best you still probably have to play them on playstation i think sony are more i was gonna say it feels like sony are more ruthless i mean they're sticking to their guns they're sticking to their model you know that with not having the game pass day one type thing still selling the games at high prices you know making a big deal it feels like sony are becoming the apple of gaming which fine i mean i used to be a big apple product user i'm not really anymore because the just i think the prices got insane i think apple are less innovative these days that vr headset is 
a joke as far as I'm concerned. Um, prove me wrong, you know, next year. If you're all going to be on the train and on the bus and at home wearing those headsets, I'll eat my words. I don't think that's happening. Um, and then Microsoft feel, you know, they're leaning more towards like, they're like the... Well, I was going to say, who's the opposite to Apple? With Samsung, with Android, you know, they're that way. The more sort of open source for everybody, uh, more affordable, more customizable. Yeah, so they, they are on two, sort of on two different roads. Sony is leaning into the VR more as well. So I don't see Sony changing that model anytime soon. I think they're looking, they're looking at how successful Apple have been and probably trying to emulate that a bit more. Whereas... Microsoft and Xbox are looking at Netflix and going that route. Um, and I'm not sure what state Netflix is in right now. Because, um, yeah, they've had some up and down years. Casp, I think it'd be interesting to see if it appealed to PlayStation players. I know personally know people who have PlayStations who would love to play Gears of War. They just don't have an Xbox. Stefano Grassini, it would be something reciprocal. would have to be reciprocal. I give you Marcus, you give me Kratos. Yeah, so there's another trend here in the, in the replies. So when I say this... When I say, should it be cross-platform and be on PlayStation? Yeah, I'm not saying let PlayStation have Gears of War and we get nothing back. Um, it should definitely be reciprocal. I think I think exclusivity probably needs to go away. Digital habit. I have a feeling it will be mostly PC players that will say yes and Xbox players will say no. A PC player would welcome more players, just gives more people to destroy. <laughs> Tay Doc, how about no? <laughs> Tough X Guy 305, then there will be no point for me to own an Xbox. I completely disagree. Look at Game Pass. Look at the other games that they have that they develop that potentially would run, you know, would not run, sorry, would come out early on Xbox, be there on day one. But do you need to own an Xbox now to play these games? I've already said it, no. To play them the best way, yes, probably. Or get an Asus ROG Alloy play game pass on that you can play the games natively you can play gears you can play forza horizon 5 you can play those xbox games in the palm of your hand i presume you can plug that into your tv right i haven't checked but i know you can with the steam deck krill as much as i would like some of sony my sony friends to be able to experience the series the toxic fans will absolutely let us never hear the end of it yeah they're always around tana honestly yes more people would play it you would have more lobbies yep Naz, I think Gears of War should be the game for Xbox and PC only since the first Gears of War was on both Xbox and PC. I mean, I think just because it's legacy is PC and Xbox, that doesn't mean anything new has to just stay on those platforms. For all the reasons we've mentioned, more players. Resident Dante, I mean, it would be sure nice to expand the online numbers playing it. I think there's a lot of potential customers only on PS platforms for sure. Agreed. Fiber Optic. Well, no, it's an Xbox IP. Never has been on PlayStation. If it were to go on PlayStation, we'd want an equivalent title to benefit us. Otherwise, it's a slap in the face for investing in a console with dwindling exclusive, uh, dwindling exclusive reasons when PlayStation doesn't do the same as much. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not saying give it to PlayStation for free. Let's get PlayStation games on Xbox as well. Is there a situation where I can see Xbox uh, letting Gears 5, uh, Gears 5, just, well, Gears of War in general, go to PlayStation without something in return? No, I don't think that will ever happen unless, unless Game Pass is finally allowed to be accessible, an accessible app through PlayStation consoles. Yes, but I just imagine the cut there that Xbox is getting from people who subscribe via their PlayStation, I mean, it's going to be pretty big, right? Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of deal they could make, but I would assume Xbox would get the biggest taking there. That's the whole point of doing it. I don't think it's a slap in the face. I mean, I think as long as I'm still getting that value for money, the day one on Game Pass, um, I'm not going to complain uh you know like i'm not saying make it for free on playstation so yeah uh, uh i'm not yeah i wouldn't see it as a slap in the face as long as the game is good you know 
fine. Fine by me. Slipstream Muzzle. I feel like it'd be weird to put what was originally a major Xbox IP onto PlayStation, which is near enough a de- direct competitor for Xbox. Well, they are a direct competitor. Yep, 100%. It would be weird. It would definitely be weird. Does that mean it's wrong? Bodega. If it was multiplayer, it would do multi-platform. It would do better. Being stuck on the third place console doesn't help it at all. As the console sales weaken and development lags, gears lost a lot of players base and mind share. It's a little more than a cult now. Well, yeah, it's niche. Gears of War is completely niche. I think in the lead up to Gear Six, we'll see a lot of hype. I think Gear Six is the reason it's taking so long is because they're probably going to do something absolutely incredible i have every faith that they will certainly from a technical standpoint putting it multi-platform would bring in those extra players everybody's you know not everybody lots of people are saying it in grill says yes the more players the better exclusives of dumb i never got to play bloodborne because of corporate greed same as playstation people with gears of war and more yeah i've never played bloodborne because as i said never had a ps4 don't have a ps4 well, you can't get it on ps5 right never had a ps4 love the dark souls games love elden ring Everyone tells me how amazing Bloodborne is. I would love to play it. So I guess so Sony own the exclusivity rights. Yeah. So if Sony make a deal tomorrow to put Bloodborne Bloodborne on Xbox, not on Game Pass, but want to charge 60 quid for it, I'll probably pay that 60 quid and Sony will get money. So yeah, win, win, for, win for them, win for me, win for Ingrill. A shaman, as much as I love Gears, I'm not really sure I ever sold Xbox consoles. Hmm, putting on PS wouldn't change much there in my opinion. So the only sales that might be lost would be players that have both PlayStation and Xbox that might choose to buy it on PlayStation instead and only losing a fee there. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting point. Now, did Gears ever really sell Xboxes? Yes, it did originally. Certainly, certainly with Gears of War 1, possibly Gears of War 2. Obviously, the you know... The fire dies down a little bit as things go. I Was Gears 4 a console shifter? Gears 5 a console shifter? No. I mean, no. Was Gears 1 a console shifter? Yes, because, I mean, I can just speak for myself. That's why I bought an Xbox 360. That TV advert, Mad World, I saw it on TV. I, was, I knew PS3 was like a year away, and I was like, shall I hold out and get a PS3? And I was, you know playing ps2 we had an og xbox as well i also had a gamecube when gears of war one came out around near the launch of the 360 whether it was like a year after launch right or something so when did it come out 2006 so yeah so the 360 came out and then a year later gears came out right is that correct and so ps3 was coming out around a similar time that gears of war was and I was like, shall I get a PS3? I don't know. Like, it's a lot of money. You know, PS3 was what? Like 500 quid. Um, but I saw the TV advert and I, the decision was made there and then. I had never seen anything like that. It just grabbed me. It ticked all the boxes for me. And then, yeah, I went and saw some gameplay videos of it as well. And I was like, yeah, that's what I was getting. So it has sold consoles. I, I would... Um, I think it's safe to assume that lots of people back then decided to get a 360 because of Gears of War. Is it a console shifter these days? Not really. I mean, Gears 5 launching on Game Pass Day 1 was a big deal. Um, Did that make some people buy some Xbox One consoles? Possibly. Because that's... I don't know if it was the first one to launch. You know, the first... um, you know, IP from Xbox to launch day one. There may have been another one. You'll have to let me know in the comments about that because, yeah, I can't quite remember. But, yeah, that was a pretty big deal. This game otherwise that would have cost 60 quid. No, play it day one if you've got Game Pass Ultimate. So did that convert some... Did that net some new console owners? Possibly. I don't think we'll ever be able to measure that. The seventh number. Gears War is my favourite Xbox franchise. So, yes, I'd love to play it on PlayStation. I think Gears needs more players... From any platform playing it, bring it to the next Nintendo to- console too, if the hardware can handle it. You're speaking my language. Platinum Piggy, only games only games Xbox has, dog. <laughs> Patrick the Panda, absolutely not. Gears are synonymous with Xbox and has built a legacy as an Xbox exclusive. It's one of the brand's cornerstone platforms and as such should never, under any circumstances, show up on PlayStation. You might as well ask Sony to make God of War multi-platform. Yes. That's what I'm asking Sony to do. 
Make God of War multi-platform. Make Horizon multi-platform. Make Bloodborne multi-platform. You can have Gears of War. We can all play together. Xbox doesn't let Halo be in PlayStation should be the same towards their other big game franchises. I mean, at this point with Halo, you know, we're talking about Gears of War here. If you had to make, if you had to put them both in front of me and say, which one do you think is going to benefit more from being multi-platform? I would say Halo. Get it on PlayStation straight away. Get it everywhere now because we're in a situation where what's going to be carrying the x what is carrying the xbox brand at the moment it isn't halo it isn't gears really at the moment starfield bethesda those games yeah you ask people to say what's the best game on xbox right now or what's the, what game are you most excited for for xbox you ask somebody in the street the average gamer I don't think they're saying the next Halo. I don't think they're saying the next Gears. I think they're saying Starfield. Maybe Fable. I don't know. Nelson. Nah, let Gear, nah leave Gears on Xbox. That's its home. I doubt many PS gamers will even bother to pick it up. I, As I say, I know PS PlayStation gamers that would love to play it. Gund M Vulture. It's already multi-platform with PC. I think it is needed to have some console exclusive games to be a bit unique with within consoles. Plus, only Xbox could lose if PS have all the same games while well, playstation nintendo definitely will always hold some ips to their own yeah like everyone has their exclusives and again i i don't hate exclusives i get it i can i'm fine with them staying around and if you got the money to support your platform fine it's yeah no big deal will games like starfield and gear 6 net more game pass subscribers yep i think they will I think Starfield is potentially going to be a console seller. I think people are going to buy an Xbox for that. I think Starfield is the first console shifter in... Hmm. I was going to say like five or six years because the only other games I can think of that people would have bought a console for are God of War, I think. But again, I don't know. I don't think... As I think gamers love God of War. I don't think my brother loves God of War. I don't think my wife loves God of War. I tell you what they do like, Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man was definitely a console shifter and still is. I think some people who haven't bought a PS5 yet will be eyeing up that Spider-Man 2 and thinking, oh, I can play Spider-Man, finally play Spider-Man and then play Spider-Man 2 as well. Look at Venom, that looks amazing. Um... I'm not going <laughs> to. It takes more it's going to take more than Spider-Man for me to buy a PS5. But children love Spider-Man as well. I mean, yeah, that's having that Spider-Man franchise I think has done more for PlayStation than anything else. Well, okay. Call of Duty. They obviously they have Call of Duty and they have more people isn't it like a fact that the biggest game played on PlayStation is Call of Duty? Um that's not an exclusive that's <laughs> multi-platform but lots of people have bought playstations because they believe that's the way to play call of duty because playstation have the marketing they've built the brand around it but spider-man is there as well as far as an actual exclusive so we have to let's move call of duty out of the way it's not exclusive so what's a console shifting exclusive i think spider-man what have xbox had you tell me <laughs> <laughs> Starfield is the only one I can think of. I'm not saying they don't have amazing games. They do. I play them all. I love them. <laughs> I love Microsoft Flight Simulator. I love Forza. I love Gears. I love Halo Infinite. I love Hi-Fi Rush. I love the medium. Like, what else? What am I missing? Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2 was among my games of the year for 2021. Xbox has incredible games. Did anyone buy an Xbox Series X for Psychonauts 2? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. Why did I buy an Xbox Series X? I'll tell you why. Because they had the Xbox All Access program and I didn't need to drop £500 to buy it. I just paid 25 quid a month for two years, interest-free. Got Game Pass with it as well. That's why I got it. Value for money. Going on a bit of a tangent there, but yeah. 
Um, what do we have here? Shifter 98. Only pick Gears of War on PC. That's like putting Uncharted on Xbox. Yes, it is like putting Uncharted on Xbox. There is no logic in terms of doing this. Even Uncharted got a PC release with two games. Yeah. It did. You're completely right. The logic in doing that is so more people buy the game and more people play it. Put Uncharted on the Xbox. Don't necessarily have to put it on Game Pass, but I would probably buy it because I don't have a PlayStation. <laughs> so I'm either no, because then there wouldn't be any point to buy an Xbox. We've been over this. There's plenty of reasons to buy an Xbox. You don't need to buy one, though, to play Xbox games. Pale Horse, more players is a good thing. 100%. Jbot, what a stupid question. <laughs> and that's it. We're going to wrap it up there for the replies. Thank you, everybody, for getting involved in the poll. So, yeah, it's uh, it's quite funny because the poll, I would say the replies veered more towards, yes, wanting it to be not exclusive, right? Um, but the poll says no. 68%. So the people who just thought no, they didn't really expand on their uh, expand on their reasoning. Um but the people who do think it should be multi-platform, they presented the reasons that I kind of think as well. Now, if you're asking me to say 100% either way, one way or the other. Gun to my head. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm selfish. <laughs> and no, I want Gears to be on my Xbox. I mean, yeah. I think it's not necessarily the way things should be. I think exclusivity is fading away. I think it's dying off. We're in the last sort of years of exclusivity. I'm not, I'm not sure. PlayStation are kind of holding their ground on that as much as possible. Um is that going to last, you know, skyrocketing prices, cost of living crisis, like raising, yeah, it's just, and I know Xbox are raising prices as well. I know like the console price is going up for both of them. That's never happened, right? It's just, yeah, it's a wild time we live in at the moment. So Gears 6, when it eventually arrives, it's going to be on Game Pass day one. What form is it going to be is the campaign and multiplayer going to be split and arriving differently free to play multiplayer but maybe the campaign is premium and you know premiumly priced in some kind of way is it going to be live service it's yeah there's a million questions to think about and i'm going to keep covering all these questions i love you guys getting involved i think it's important to kind of you know, our followers are, you know, we had, what, 597 votes on this poll. So it's a small, small percentage, a small sample of the Gears of War fan base. There's millions of you out there. Um, but I'm going to keep asking these questions. I want to know what people think. I think there's not necessarily right or wrong answers here. Um, but it is interesting to get people's view on this stuff. As I said, do I want it to stay exclusive? Yeah, probably. Should it? Nah, probably not. So thank you, as always, for your replies. We'll be back again soon with another fan community uh, response video. Come and subscribe to the podcast on your podcast feed of choice. Subscribe to the YouTube. Give the video a like, share, comment. Let If you didn't get involved in the poll here, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And yeah, just continue to get involved with Gears Intel. Onwards and upwards, we have more stuff coming soon. Stay tuned to the Twitter account. Well, I say that. Yeah, Twitter is kind of in the toilet at the moment. Um, we're not on threads yet. We're not in any other places. We are on TikTok. Yes, I say any other places. We are on TikTok. Um, we're still on Twitter for now. Keep coming to get involved with Gears Intel. Really appreciate you all getting involved. And yeah, until next time, remember the Fallen.